um, you are aware that um, you are aware that uh, we suspended Mr. Mao Sampa and four others. We suspended the chairperson of the party, um, Honorable Davis Chama, and two members of parliament, Davison Mungandu and Mr. Robert Ch Chawinga. Today we were alerted that uh, Mr. Mao Sampa, in collaboration with the UPND and with State House, has um, decided to hold what he is calling an extraordinary conference today, 24th October 2024. This decision is illegal, it's against our constitution. The only body allowed to call for a conference is the Central Committee. No other body can call for, uh, for a general conference, extraordinary general conference or annual uh, general conference or elective conference, constitutional conference. Only the Central Committee can call for such a conference. You are aware that um, on its sitting on Sunday, the Central Committee postponed the um, extraordinary general conference that was due on 28th October 2023. It was rescheduled because there are logistical, financial, and other issues that are standing in the way. And we, to that effect, we've called for a separate um, central committee meeting, a special one, within the period of 30 days to attend to this issue of holding the Extraordinary General Conference and Constitutional Conference. The developments today, if you have seen pictures flying around that the police have cordoned off Mulungushi International Conference, members of the UPND masquerading as PF have gathered there and Mr. Mao Sampa is going to host what he is calling an Extraordinary General Conference. You have seen pictures being distributed by those two gentlemen, Mr. Chama America and Mr. Ground, Victor Kapungwe, uh, who are saying that they've gathered people from, um, uh, 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 from the provinces for them to convene that meeting. We need to state very clearly, Mr. Mao Sampa is suspended. He cannot hold any activity in the name of the PF. He cannot hold any conference in the name of the PF. The constitution doesn't allow. First, the manner of holding any meeting is outlined by our party constitution. The manner, structure, and how deliberations are done are defined by the constitution. Uh, this scheme we hear is a template from Zimbabwe where they are copying what they call the MDC template. So this template was used to dismantle and destabilize the MDC, where there were two factions. MDC one by Morgan Swangirai and the other MDC uh, by Welshman Kube. Our people must remember that history. So we understand that the UPND want to create a parallel patriotic front to confuse our people, to confuse members of the public, that members of the public will not know which one is a legitimate conference, which one is a legitimate leadership. Mr. Mao Sampa uh, has a no local stand in our party. He's a suspended member. Remember that we suspended him earlier in the year in February 2023. He went to court. That suspension was held by court and recently is among those that were suspended because of uh, uh, his illegal activities when he stormed the party secretariat and stormed the party secretariat, demolished and damaged uh, party property. That decision to write to him arose from members of, members of uh, uh, party structures from Matero, who rose in unison that the Central Committee must expel Mr. Mao Sampa. However, we can't just expel Mr. Mao Sampa. We have the Constitution. We have to follow what the procedures of the Constitution states. We cannot just um, uh, uh, suspend people or expel them. We have to follow the law. The law, we are a rule-based organization and the process is underway. 
our court to our members is for them to remain patient. The party will deal with Mr. Maus and others, but unfortunately, we follow the dictates of the law, the dictates of our party constitution. We can't just rise and expel Mr. Maus Sampa because he's being a nuisance. For ordinary people and Zambians, we wish to advise you that uh, ignore this process by Mr. Maus Sampa. It's not only illegal, but it's an activity of both the state and UPND. It's an activity of the UPND government to attempt to destroy the opposition, to attempt to destroy the patriotic front. That is presenting the biggest threat to their chances to stand in 2026. For Honorable Mao Sampa, uh, this is not the first time that he's, in, he's been engaged in illegalities. He was engaged in these illegalities in 2014. He was expelled from the party. He came begging and we allowed him into the fold. We gave him an opportunity to be mayor of Lusaka under our party ticket. We gave him an opportunity to be um, a member of parliament for Matero, even when we had other credible, worthy candidates. But as unrepentant as Mr. Mao Sampa is, um, he has proceeded to, uh, to, to, to do this state function and state funded and state supported activities. I have just passed through Mulungush International Conference and I have seen the heavy armory of vehicles protecting Mr. Mao Sampa's so-called conference. It's illegal, like stated earlier. Uh, uh, we are ignoring it. There is another matter. Many people have been calling me, but why haven't you gone to court? Why didn't you stop Mr. Mao Sampa uh, to, to uh, proceed with this process? Why didn't you get an injunction? We are saying this is a state-sponsored activity because of things we are encountering. Our lawyers were ready yesterday. They, you know an injunction you, or restraining order, you can get it anytime. The judge in charge is supposed to be available to you. You can walk into any court. You can walk into any, any judge to have that given. Those judges in charge who are supposed to allocate cases are unavailable since yesterday. Those judges are available, whether it's holiday, whether it's in the night, whether it's in the day, whether it's a day like today, which is a national uh, day where we're celebrating independence. Our judges are supposed to be available. So this entire activity by Mr. Mao Sampa is state-sponsored, it's being engineered from State House, is collaborated from State House, it's being funded from State House. The huge presence of police um, uh, who are never available when we want them. When we want to hold a rally, they claim that they are not available, they don't have enough manpower. At Mulungush International Conference, there are more policemen than the so-called delegates for Mr. Mao Sampa. So this is a state activity. It's a state-sponsored activity. It's being engineered by State House. We know that they want to do what they are calling the MDC plan, where they will form, they want to form, attempting to form two parallel patriotic front from uh, the PF, where then Mr. Mao Sampa will also call himself as the president of the PF and, you know, they will try to facilitate him to attempt to destroy the PF. Our caution is to President Akainde Ichilema that these maneuvers have never succeeded. The attacks against democracy have never succeeded. And it's so embarrassing that you have a head of state from Tanzania where you are allowing to threaten national peace because we understand some youths are very annoyed with these developments. Some youths want to disrupt that meeting. You can imagine the desperation of the state that they can go to an extent where they threaten peace in Lusaka, where we have a visiting dignitary, a head of state respected one of the few women presidents in Africa. She's visiting our country. She was recently, uh, just uh, a few minutes ago, officiating at, uh, at the investiture ceremony at State House. You allow to engage yourself in these activities. So it demonstrates the desperation of our, uh, 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 of our colleagues that they'll go to any great extent to attempt to destroy the PF, to attempt to destroy the foundation of the PF. But what we can caution is 
like I stated, President Agaide Chilema, these maneuvers have never succeeded. The people of Zambia, the institutions of democracy, will not allow you to destroy the PF. The PF is a legitimate opposition party. We have seen maneuvers. You are to craft a special uh, a statutory instrument, number 592, just to target the PF. You are allowed the chief registrar of societies to issue a 60 day ultimatum targeting just the PF. All these engineered maneuvers by the state we will not succeed because Zambians are determined that uh, the country is a democracy. They want a ruling party that can be checked by the opposition, a strong opposition. They want a ruling party to do its bidding while you have an active opposition. That is a determination of Zambians. Those decisions were made in 1991 that Zambia is a multi-party democracy. While we respect the ruling party in government, you also, the ruling party has a duty to respect the opposition, not to undermine the opposition, not to attempt to destroy the opposition. They've stopped many journalists. Many journalists have been calling me that they, that they are trying to access Mulungushi International Conference Center, but they're only allowing journalists from ZANIS and ZNBC. Again, this goes to show what we are telling you, that this is a state activity. It's a state-sponsored activity. It's being engineered from a, 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 a state house to the extent where they can even threaten national peace just to allow Mr. Mao Sampa to create a parallel patriotic front. But all these activities are in vain, they are futile, they will not succeed. Um, we wish to end by encouraging our, our members across the country who alerted us when uh, these intransigent fellas were in the provinces trying to entice them that they will be invited to an independence retreat. That's what they lied to some of our people. And there are many that arrived there and told us that the so-called uh, retreat is not a retreat, it's being turned into a conference and have walked away. To that extent, Mr. Mao Samp has brought more thugs. I think the UPND have accorded him more thugs to so that he can have some semblance of uh, an audience when he's uh, making those illegal pronouncements. They've planned it to the extent that they are, they've allowed for uh, the function at State House to end, then allow Mr. Mao Sampa to address uh, that conference, and they want to beam it live, we, we suspect, through ZMBC. Um, I wanted to read some details regarding our party constitution, but it's very clear. First of all, this meeting can only be called by central committee. Secondly, you have to give members 30 days notice. You have to provide documents. That's what our constitution says. You just can't turn up and say it's a conference. So this conference, this state-sponsored activity, is illegal from all fronts, from our party constitution, from the statute of our constitution, from the regulations of our constitution, from the manner and structure of our how we hold meetings, and from the rules and regulation that guide such a meeting is totally is totally illegal from off ranks and um, our members should stay calm we encourage you not to engage in violence even for those that are annoyed and want to storm lungushi our appeal is stay away from the process so that you are not victimized so that there is no brutality uh, 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 you know meted on you let us not be the ones to, to blame if something goes wrong at Mulungushi. We urge you to keep away from the process. It's an illegal process and we'll deal with it. We believe that in this country there is a judiciary. No matter how, how, how hard they attempt to defile it, we recognize that there is a judiciary. No matter how much they want to influence, we will seek redress. Our members are intact. You saw how they turned up at the Central Committee. And uh, the acting president, Honorable Given Luminda, is very clear. We will not allow abuse of the process. We will not allow indiscipline of the process. Because then, then the PF will pack up. The PF will not be a legitimate opposition. The PF then will not have a chance to rule this country again unless we are disciplined as a party, unless we are disciplined 
as members. So with those few words, I would like to thank you for listening to us. We might come back to give you an update. We might come back to give you a brief. But the position of the party is that the activities at Mulungushi are illegal. Any legitimate member of the Patriotic Front must stay away from it. The man who has called the meeting is suspended. He's facing double suspensions. So you, 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 you protect yourself and stay away from it. He called it a retreat and he could have fooled some people. There is no such thing, even a retreat. Any meeting is called in a certain regulated manner by the party. So good day, uh, uh, stay calm, maintain the peace. We maintain the peace. The PF is known for its peace. Let's not participate in the illegalities because we don't know what will happen. Maybe greatest road might be closed. Maybe uh, damage could be done to Mungush International Conference. We don't want as PF to be part to any of those issues. Let them be on the hands of President Aka Indeichlem and Mao Sampa who are coordinating this illegal activity, even in the face when we have international dignitaries in our country. So God bless you. We'll speak to you later.